Hoping to be part of Team GB in Tokyo is Welsh international Jasmine Joyce, the diminutive three-quarter who is punching well above her weight. So basically started at the age of seven, so there was a, there was a local club down by me and, and me and my cousin, we both just kind of went along, played a bit of rugby and with the boys this was just tag games and stuff like that, it was, it was awesome and I loved it, but there was a gap where at the age of 12 we couldn't play with the boys anymore, so kind of I took a gap from 12 to 16 where I didn't play the rugby, I went into like netball and hockey and athletics, um, I enjoyed it but it's nothing like like being a part of a team within rugby and environment. And then there was a um, half dozen ladies which started up. So I started there, and uh, I think it was under 15s, and then just made my way up. So Scarlets, um, then I got the call up for Wales, and then just been up and up and up since then. To get my first cap was something that I've dreamt of for ages and I hadn't even got my cap before I went to Rio so that was still kind of a goal and a dream for me to, to get my um, 15s cap. Um, it wasn't the best of games, we lost <laughs> and then I got dropped after that so it was great. <laughs> But um, no, it was awesome. Like to get your first cap is is as a as a moment as a rugby player you, you dream of and you wait and wait and wait and to finally achieve that is something yeah something really special. It was really tough. Like to start with, kind of there was two Welsh and two Scottish who had to go into an English camp who've just qualified and kind of like stepping on their toes. I think the first couple of months were really tough. But I know the well me and the other Welsh girl found it really tough and like almost come to a point where it's like, oh, I don't know if I want to be here anymore. But then we had a tournament in Dubai, and then after that, it all just clicked, and we loved it. Like, after playing a game of sevens, rugby, whatever, you, you just automatically get closer to the team. So ever since that, um, I was like, nah, like, I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to make sure I, I just try my best in everything. I spoke to the coaches, kind of asked them where I am in, in rankings of wingers, and they were like, are oh, you last? Like, so those, I think there's four wingers, you're, you're last at the moment. Um, I was like, okay, what can I do? Like, what can I do to get selected? What can I do to get to get above them? Basically, the one thing they said was my passing, so my passing was, was really bad. <laughs> um, so all I did was after training, before training was pass, 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 and then I kind of just made my way up the rankings. Obviously, I went to Rio, which is an amazing achievement, but I think to do it again would just be be awesome. That is still my, my goal and dream, like, and hopefully um, I get a call up by the English um, head coach to go into camp and, and see how I do. Oh, it's awesome, yeah. I think, well, a stalker's uh, messaged me on Facebook Messenger basically being like, do you want to play for Barbarians? I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was meant to go on holiday to Fort Ventura on the day, so I originally said no. And then I messaged her, like, maybe like a week or two weeks after saying, right, I've changed my dates on my holiday, like, I've, I've changed them completely. I absolutely, I would love to come. <laughs> I think it is completely different from being in a barbarian camp and a, an international camp for Wales. For me, it's just, uh, there is no pressure. There's no pressure to perform, but for Welsh, in and out around the camp, you're kind of always on edge, on your toes, kind of looking around, see who's watching, but here yeah, it's just awesome. The girls are amazing, like coaching staff and everyone here is just so, it's, it, it, is, it is amazing to be a part of. Look at the speed here, we've seen, she steps across one tackle, moves through another. That's two in a row, she's broken. Those people, my coaches, everyone's always like, oh, you're too small, you're too this. I'm fortunate enough to be quite quick. I'd probably say I'm quite strong in the gym, so other than that, I, I don't need to put on weight. You don't need to be big. Rugby is a, is a game for all shapes, all sizes, so I think as long as I'm strong, as long as, long as I'm fit, um, I'm not getting injured with the size I am, then there's, there's nothing stopping me.